Hey, still with us? Welcome back. Taylor. Yeah. Do you know what's happening to you? Am I dreaming? Well, let's say you are. Why not just go with it, right? After all, you can always wake up. December 12th, 2054, 7.30 a.m. We're on board a private commuter train headed to the Zurich headquarters of the Coalescence Corporation. Our uh, cargo, prototype for the Winslow Accord Neural Network Initiative. At its core, specialized AI software that's capable of rewriting itself in order to interface with any other system in the world. State-of-the-art stuff back in the day. It'd go on to revolutionize a broad range of military and civilian applications. At least, it would have if the train had reached its destination. <laughs> At 7.31 a.m., a terrorist group detonated an explosive device on board this train. The incident sent back our robotics program several years. You're here to stop it. This is... It can't be... What is happening? Right now? Right now, you're in a medically induced coma being prepped for surgery. You've got a new bit of hardware inside your head. It's called a direct neural interface, or DNI. I've got one, too. That's how I'm able to communicate with you. Your DNI is what connects your mind with your new body and the larger world around you. We're connected. All of this is a simulation inside our minds. And you got a long way to go. RPG! <laughs> 11.30 a.m. December 11th, 2054. Zerk security forces receive an anonymous tip, giving them the location of a hideout the terrorists are using. Unfortunately, the ZSF underestimated the firepower these assholes were packing. They got caught with their pants down, and they took it hard. Outcome? Train go boom. You remember Diaz? I think so. I'm gonna help get you up to speed on some of the cool new shit you can do. Communication, brother. We all gotta be in sync. Yo, Taylor, you're a fucking dick. You didn't hear shit? If I wanna talk to you, the DNI transmits on a closed channel. I don't even have to think about it. But, uh, just so you know, if you ever think about calling Taylor a dick for real, brother, he's gonna mess you up worse than those robots. All right, let's go see if you can do this without ending up with Swiss cheese like those poor bastards. Okay. Wow, what a fucking intro to to this mission. That was fucking serious amount of fucking g graphics and detail in this fucking game. Yes, yeah, get wrecked. This fucking this campaign is the best campaign ever made for the Black Ops, I'd say, because co-op, four people can play through the campaign. Also, fucking, you can choose different ways to go on the map whenever you're uh, killing people in combat. It's pretty fucking sick.
All right. Use your enhanced mobility. It may take a little getting used to, but your confidence will soon grow. Try it for yourself. I got a hunter who says you can do it. Not bad, newbie. Not bad. Attack mode will highlight inbound threats such as rocks. Check your ammo. Grab more if you need it. Keep moving up! DNI doesn't just help us communicate with each other. It allows us to interact with a variety of computer systems, including pretty much all the basic drone units. Now, bipeds, sophisticated ground units, those are a whole lot trickier, brother. Those sons of bitches got a damn hive mind. You try to process and control all that, your brain is toast. But these? Oh, yes. Are oh, easy. we can control these. Oh, fucking class. Go this ahead. is gonna be so okay. Back in. Go see what's yeah, on the other side of this wall. Fits like a glove, right? Now somewhere through there is a generator. Take Sweet. it out, and that door should open. Oh yes, I'm gonna fucking kill everybody. <laughs> oh shit. Die, bitch. Oh, this is class. ammo whenever you see an ammo crate. Last thing you want is to be in a fight with no bullets. Oh, I love the hacking in this game. You can fucking hack their turrets and hold that, I love. Yeah, boy. I right, what's the crack? <laughs> fucking hell. So good. Too bad I... Where the fuck is everybody? Too bad I can't fucking see anybody. Don't come. 
come for free. It takes a little time to recharge. Keep an eye on your hut. Tell me what happened. I was back in Ethiopia. The grunts, I, I lived it all again. What's happening to me? Shh. You know how your senses can trigger vivid memories? Make you think of sounds, sights, words from songs. Make you think of stuff you haven't thought of in years. D and I can make that a lot more visceral. Little glitches on your optics, little whispers in your ear. This shit happens. The doctor can straighten it out. You just need to recalibrate your meds. Trust me, you're gonna be fine. So what now? Oh, right now? You're gonna interface with that console. As soon as you plug in, you'll be able to extract and process the information in a heartbeat. Got it. They had a man on the inside at Coalescence. He would have been able to supply them with everything they needed to bypass the security on the train. The botched assault, man, it took six hours for the ZSF to get that information. Outcome? Train go boom. It took you just six minutes. Yeah, it would have been five. If you hadn't freaked out when you saw those robots. So what happens now? Now we go find the son of a bitch. ZSF finally tracked down the terrorists to this location. For their sake, they really wish they hadn't. You're still here, huh? Pity. I bet D has a hundred that you'd be dead by now. Funny man, Specialist Peter Moretti. He's gonna help you understand how much of a badass motherfucker you are now. Remember, we still don't have the last piece of the puzzle. How in the hell they got the explosives on board the train? So we're clear? When this is over? You owe me a hundred. Shut your fuck it, mate, you That's cunt. Business. As you know, one of the perks of being Black Ops is having access to the latest in experimental weaponry. Firearms may be your go-to choice for a weapon in a fight. But with DNI, your mind truly is your greatest weapon. Let's do some damage. Oh, I fucking, I am loving these new abilities, eh? Nanobots, fucking, oh, eat stuff from the inside out, mate. Fucking sick. Oh, yes, what's this guy getting fucking eaten alive? Yeah, you like that? Oh, he's on fire as well. Sick. 
Oh, this game is just fucking class. Keep it up. They're using smoke grenades. That's how switching to your EV helps whenever you're blind, whether in the dark or in smoke. How about that? Now you never have to worry about what's lurking in the darkness. Make a soldier out of you. Party ain't over yet. Let's move. I got boss moving that rail car. Shred him. They got into the water treatment plant through here. On me. Keep your fucking head down. You may be a badass, but you're not immortal. Bullet to the head will still get you a date with your maker.
hunting. Interface with that door for me. This is where it all went down. The computer over there should give us some insight into how they got the explosives on board. Go interface. robots. They brought the explosives on board. You want to hear something ironic? The reality was, the terrorist attacks actually accelerated the development of the Winslow Accord Neural Network Initiative. And if it wasn't for the fear of attacks like this one, we probably wouldn't even have the Cyber Soldier program. Hang in there. 725. Got about five minutes. Yes, let's all do this. I'm gonna hostage. fucking wreck Trust all these robots. This, re this reminds me, like, this is like fucking a robot mixed with fucking Inception or some shit. All this fucking crazy shit going on. Shit, fuck off. Oh, I love that. Fucking just wrecks and destroys our faces with that punch. Boom, bitch. Boom, bitch, come on. Boom, motherfucking die. Yes. Concussive wave. Oh, I must like those gravity sticks. Oh, sick. Oh, class, come on. Oh my god, that's sick. Thing's booby trapped. If I hack it, try to move it, or detach the car, it's gonna blow. It's too much. Even with the computer in my head, there's not enough time. It's actually very simple. Wait. This is a maglev trap. If I reverse the polarity on just this car. can be expected I expect better you should know that welcome back you're being prepped for surgery now it's gonna be okay Hendrix wasn't even injured on the mission he volunteered for this prevalence of drones and combat robots has significantly reduced the reliance on human infantry. As I said before, we have no further comment to make at this time. We will continue to explore avenues of diplomatic negotiations. The WA have denied sending troops to the region, stating that they are still seeking a diplomatic solution to the standoff. We are 
coordinating closely with our allies in order to provide tactical support where needed. How long have we been doing this, Hendrix? Five years, give or take. Sounds about right. You ever think about where we're going next? Nope. You know me. I just go with the flow.